If you're a regular soft drink customer, you know how many different brands are along these aisles all competing for your attention and soft drink dollar. And it seems like they're adding new products virtually every day. One of the biggest new categories is the so-called 10% juice added market. Is it really something different? The soft drink makers would like you to think so. We got the juice, we got the blast. Slice, slice. We've been seeing commercials like this for a while now. Lemon Lime Slice from Pepsi being first among the major soft drink makers to go the juice added route. But is it the end? No, I think you'll have a separate, basically, shootout. I think it's a whole new mark, as I stated previously. Um, we'll be rolling out additional flavors uh, for coming up in the summer, as well as in the future. Part of that future is already here. Pepsi has added cherry cola and mandarin orange to its slice lineup. Coming next, apple flavor with 10% juice. Not to be outdone, Coca-Cola has brought its Minute Maid brand to the 10% juice segment, first with lemon lime and orange, both also advertising vitamin enriched. Another big company, Procter & Gamble, now owns the Crush label and has added juice to all of its flavors. Even Stroh's, the beer maker, has announced plans to get into the soft drink wars with a juice-based product. So what's all the fuss about? Ask a beverage analyst from a major stock brokerage. I think the popularity in, in juice-based drinks stems from the fact that the consumer perceives this as an extra added value. Not only is he getting a soft drink that tastes good, but he's also getting a little real juice. Notice Alan Kaplan said the consumer perceives added value. The majority of the juice added to these soft drinks is white grape and pear juice, along with a small amount of the flavor that's on the label. So what are they selling here? Could these be the products for the health-conscious generation? We don't sell health. We sell refreshment, first and, and always. Um, I think the concept of, of the juice base is more or less the taste of the product. Bottlers like John Bain say the real advantage to adding juice is better taste. And even though the juice-added products cost somewhat more to make, the soft drink companies hope to add to their market share in an increasingly crowded soft drink market. The industry's total sales run about 25 to 30 billion dollars. This would mean that juice-based, if, if they did get up to 15 percent of the total industry's volume, could be something like four to five billion dollars. And, and as you know, every billion dollars counts. Tim Smith, Money Desk 5.